What's up guys, Metal here. Today, got a full kit, got an M4, got Ford armor. We're going in with the, uh, the whole shebang here. Uh, pretty nice M4, you know. Um, got a visor on, which is why the screen looks terrible. Uh, so yeah, so what I'm trying to do is I just, I just need scav kills, really, but I'm getting fucking destroyed. I'm getting killed a lot. So. And then, since I was getting killed a lot, my kind of thought was like, well, maybe I should take in shitty gear, since I'm getting killed a lot and losing it all. But then I'm kind of like, well, if I'm getting killed a lot, maybe it's because my gear is shit and I'm not be able to compete with the other people. So now we're going to try the other half of the possible circumstances. Um, got pretty decent AP ammo in here. Uh, I just got wrecked last time I played by a dude who I'm pretty sure was in some sort of, like, board armor or something, or maybe an IOTV. I didn't really get a great look at him, but he was pretty bulky looking. It's a dead scav. I might be regretting not bringing a suppressor right now. Um, however, I wanted to make sure I had as little barrel length as possible in case I get caught in a fight in dorms or something. I don't want the barrel length to be an issue. That's kind of why I opted to just go with a muzzle break. For you first. Hit me good on the head there, but I think I won that fight. I think that's over. Nope, not quite. Now it is, though. Is that a two-man team? Or was that a 1v... Or was that just I didn't kill him in that first burst? I thought I nailed a headshot. Oh, it was a two-man team. Yeah, I thought I heard something in the bushes over here. Nice. I really like to get out with this commando rig, but I don't think I'm gonna have space for it. Yeah, I'm gonna check out what other weapon this guy had. Jeez. How'd you hurt my arm? Did you penetrate my arm with a fucking Saiga? Penetrate the fort armor with a fucking Saiga. Oh, this guy had an r -sass. And an IOTV. How big is this? Well... Alright, now the goal is escape. <laughs> I've got a lot of shit now.
I'll just leave their gear for the player scavs, I guess. Or whoever else happens to run across that area. Coming over here to... Fucking scared the fuck out of me, guy. Coming over here to knock out the Wi-Fi camera. Oh. The bush, really? Okay. Well, it seems like as good of a place as any. Sounds like there's a big ass fight happening over by the dorm, so I'm gonna try to avoid that. Okay. That's taken care of. Guess move along the road? I don't really want to move along the road either. I guess move along the back of the bus station is the best way to do this. How much ammo does this thing got? Why do you have a candid sight and an L can? You don't really need an L can if you have a candid sight, my guy. You don't really need a candid sight if you have an L can, because the L can does one times and it has an auxiliary iron sight. But whatever, guys, you do do the crazy shit. I think this is the safest way to do it, because people are going to kind of expect you to go right along the left wall of the map. People are less expectant of you to try to go this route. Or they're expecting of you to run along the road on the right side there. Um, to me though, escaping with this gear is very important, because it's a lot of nice gear. My Ragman is still only level 2, I'm still level 28, so having an IOTV is going to be nice. They're, uh, if you don't know what they are, um, it's a step down in armor level from a 4 armor from a 6 to a 5, so it's a little less guaranteed to stop certain kinds of bullets. Very comforting, the door's already been opened. Um, however, for that loss of an armor clash, you get much better mobility. As you can see, I'm kind of dying here. My guy's like a fucking asthmatic wearing Ford armor. So having that um, extra mobility afforded by the IOTV, I think is really valuable. I think it's actually more valuable than the extra one armor class that the Ford gives you. Of course, we'll see because I haven't really had the chance to wear them a whole lot. And you can buy them for just straight cash on like Fort unless they've changed that this patch. I'm glad I decided to bring real gear. Although I don't actually think that this guy got many good shots off on me because if he did, I would be dead. I don't think that Fort will stop 762 from an RSAS. I also have a fast helmet to go with this that I just found on the desk over here in the um, in the gas station, so I can, you know, my bear can cosplay as a real American with a IOTV and a fast helmet. Fuck yes. 
That went beautifully. Got a lot of scav kills. Got those two beautiful player kills. And, uh, wow, yeah, that was good. That was good. All right, let's take a look at my messy stash and see how I'm going to fit all this gear in here. I've got actually way too many Kyver helmets piling up. I need to just start taking them out more. I was like, oh, man, these can get visors now. They're pretty valuable. They're pretty good to have. But, like, I really just have a lot now. I'm kind of getting to a point where I don't have a spot for them all. IOTV. Hello. Well, I guess you can't sit there because that's kind of where my... Where my fort needs to go. Cowboy hat? That's a quest turn in. Uh, that's a sell. I don't, I don't really use pistols. They just kind of don't ever really go my way. <sighs> There's another Kyver helmet. See, I mean, I've got a fuckload of the damn things. Um, and that's... Uh, I've got so much shit. I just don't know what I want to do with it. Is this the same key three times? Yup. Okay. Bunch of new IFAX from that. Pretty new at least. I use cars in my chest rig versus Salos because not only are they cheaper, they use in five seconds versus six. So that's I think that's a worthy difference to note. Um, if you're having to spam heals, that may make the difference. What are you doing with it? You got an OPS KS, but you put the shitty rail system on the front. Do you hate yourself? Okay. I wish I could move that back on the rail somewhere. It looks really dumb. It's like overhanging the front. All right. Um. Well, I don't really get any loot that I intend to sell, but I got plenty of stuff I tend to keep. Let's get that off of there. We're going to bubba this up. I don't like how you can't. Oh, can you use the bottom rail on this now? Can I use it for a foregrip? Oh, he even got a foregrip on here. Cool. So with this, I want to yeah pop the round out of the chamber. Sure, put that back there. Take that off. Beautiful. Sit that next to the others, and I guess my. SV-98 needs to go down into here. Alright, I'm getting OCDE, but here's that. Now, now they will all match. Kind of. They will kind of match. I'm not going to keep that. Uh, put the ammo into the insured mag. That's the most important one. I'll put those two there. Okay. So, try zip backpack. That's a nice little piece of haul as well. Well, they will get their chest rigs back. They can take comfort in that. What were these guys' levels? 23 and 23. All right. Um, wearing that for now. Ragman, here's a hat. Um...
Only need seven more kills on customs on the scavs. That was a really good run for that. Not a bad run as far as money goes either, but I mean, really the value in that run was the gear that we just got. Got. So if we want to take a look at this real quick, this IOTV Gen 4 Assault Kit, it covers your both your arms, chest, and stomach just like a fort, has an armor class of 5, minus 19% movement speed, minus 6% turning speed, minus 5 ergonomics. If you compare that to the fort, we're at one armor class above, but it has double the movement speed penalty, um, more than double the turning speed penalty, and triple, more than triple the ergonomic penalty. So this is a much better mobility piece of armor. It's a little less defense, but you get more than a little more mobility. So I think that's a good trade. Uh, and yeah, so it's actually not even much worse armor. Like, like actually the penalties are, aren't, are pretty similar to a Karasa. They're not, well, like 19 versus 9. The ergonomics is the same, and the turning speed is basically the same, though. So, yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty big deal. Pretty good piece of armor there. Um, yeah. There we go. That was a good run. Um, oh, let's, let's fix this SKS. These poor people fucked it. Let's take that off for now. This is going to go away. We're going to Bubba it, because Bubba is the way to get the SKS to the best stats. Unless they've allowed you to put a foregrip onto the SOCOM rail yet. Even that's a bit bubba though. Let's see. So I'm going to need a Magpul RVG grip from Peacekeeper. Where is it at? I'm going to need one of those if I end up getting the bubba route, which I think I will be. Come on, I know it's here somewhere. There we go. All right. Um, and will this go on to here? Nope. Okay. Yeah. So I definitely have to go the bubble route. Uh, so you can have. Actually, I'm gonna try to sell this stuff to Skier. Hey, Skier, my guy. Oh, you don't want it. Mechanic, my guy. You can have uh, that and that. There you go. 9,600 rubles. That pays for a little bit of what I want to do. All right. So we get the Tapco stock. Tapco grip. And the Tapco buffer tube. Okay. And there we go. Now we sit this into there. We sit that into there, rather. We need to go ahead and buy. You get it at level two, that should narrow this down. Oh, hey, there's a new thing you have. Hexagon AK-74 suppressor, cool. May make use of that. So we'll need that. Oh, I can get an SKS suppressor now. Beautiful. I'll actually suppress this. And then... TK4... That suppressor thing. Um, and... I could do... No, I'm not going to do that. Let's get a uh, PSO scope from Prapper. Now, I actually do think I don't think it's necessary to get a um, to get a canted mount on this. So let's test. Let's get this our sense that we just acquired. Okay. Well. Okay. 
bring that stuff. I'm going to put this on here like that first. Okay, let's load into a just an offline read real quick. Now, I do believe these sites will be offset enough for, well, well, what you believe is wrong, Metal. Okay. Not quite usable. Okay, if I put it on like that, now oh, that'll work much better, but this site is actually a really bad choice to do canted because it the site is fucked. I mean, I guess you could use it like that, but... I guess it would still work just as well. Um, after all, just the canted site. But, yeah. So, there we go. That's this new SKS. That's the way I like to build my SKSs. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more of my tactical shooter content, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll actually be notified for all my video releases. You could also join my Discord, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or Facebook, or support my Patreon, all in the description below. See you next time, guys.